live once more. Here's that SPMT that we chatted about on the Starship 24 live stream. So this is the third SPMT to be coming to the site here. And it's thought that maybe they would move the booster back or something like that. I'm not sure about that. I kind of hope that they would just be clearing out the area over there by the launch site so that they could do a static fire and also do the launch of the uh, eventual launch of the booster in the next uh, 30 days would be nice but uh, they're moving pretty slowly with this uh, object and this will be the third transporter SPMT on site here two others came in earlier today so Uh, it's been mentioned maybe these are weights, but uh, I'm not sure what these are, but this will be uh, three SPMTs on site. July 13, 2022, Paul S. Mamakos with Ocean Camera, Ocean Camera Space Corp. This is a, a different angle than normal. Uh, normally uh, we're looking um, southeast uh, right now I'm looking northwest or west um, many of the cameras are on the other side of the highway there I'm on the south side of the highway currently looks like a shorter SPMT So there it goes. Continuing on toward the launch site. A brief uh, update on the situation here. That makes uh, the third uh, SPMT. the site okay so Chris says uh, has a feeling they're gonna move the booster back to the bay that would be big news huh maybe I'll make that the title of this video are they gonna make the booster move the booster back to the bay all right Signing out for this update, Paul S. Mamakos with Ocean Cam here at SpaceX South Texas launch site. See, I cut my hair. If you cut your own hair, you can save a little money. Good stuff. All right, I'm going to sign off. Time to go back to lunch.
it's almost lunchtime here as well. Good times. In three, two, one.